Chris Olds, back at Media here. I went to Target. It's not a Friday, but I went there anyway. And uh, I noticed something new on the shelf. Uh, it made its kind of a debut sneak preview at uh, a national this year. And uh, I didn't expect it to be out this soon. I hadn't really checked. I'm not the football guy, so it's not my territory, so to speak. But uh, Obak, football. TriStar's take on tobacco era, 19, early 1900s trading cards, but with football this year, a brand new edition. Picked up three packs, retail, I'm going to rip them. I like the look of this brand, it's just different, plain and simple. And uh, here we go. Charlie Ward, Florida State Heisman Trophy winner. Card number 50. <clears throat> Let's see here, Pete Henry. A college and pro football Hall of Famer. Offensive tackle for Kenton, New York, and the Pottsville teams from 1920 to 28. Also an impressive kicker. And I guess, okay, he's from the first Hall of Fame class. The set's made up of different subsets. Unfortunately, the hobby box has all that info on it, not on the packs themselves. So this is pretty cool. A mini card. Walter Camp the father of football, who was head coach at Yale and Stanford in the late 19th century. He invented the point-down system, the point system, and the safety. Card backs are very simple, very old-school tobacco style. Another reason I like them, but uh, the minis are where it's at for me. How about Burt Bell, who won the Player of the Year award in... Well, no, it's named after him. I'm sorry. He was also in the inaugural Hall of Fame class, but he is part of the behind the name subset in this product. Final card, a modern player, interestingly, in here for his famous nicknames. Dante Hall, a.k.a. the X Factor, and the Human Joystick, and the Human Torch. So there you go. That's pack one. Pack two, here we go. One mini per pack. I believe an autograph per box, but I don't hold me to it because, frankly, it didn't say that. So here he is, captain of the Yale football team in 1888 who appeared on the very first football trading card. His name is Beecher. He is reportedly a relative of Harriet Beecher Stowe. How's that for a history lesson? Jim Otto, selected from history's greatest or greatest. Let's see here. Lyndon Johnson, president. He's the first president to attend an NFL game while in office. Cool trivial reason there to include him. John David Crow, <clears throat> winner of the Heisman Trophy. Apparently there's a subset of Heisman winners in this set. <clears throat> and finally in this pack is Rick Nassie. These cards don't have the first names on the... I have to read the bio a little bit here. His name is uh, Charles Follis, a subset of Game Changers, and he's the first African-American professional football player. Played in 1902. Played for the Ohio League Shelby Blues. That's pretty cool. Final, third and final pack. I'm sure we'll have some box busters... Uh, Action here soon. I'll talk to the TriStar people tomorrow. And we'll probably have that early next week. <clears throat> Bo Jackson. Vincent Edward Bo Jackson. Heisman winner at Auburn. Member of the College Football Hall of Fame, according to this card, which I frankly hadn't thought about. John Capaletti. A Heisman winner. The Princeton brothers named Poe. Let's see. They are under, under the Can You Believe subset. A last name which generally reminded people of their second cousin and renowned poet Edgar Allen is well known around the Princeton campus for another reason. All six Poe brothers, I'm not going to name them all, played football for the Tigers between 1882 and 1901. There they are all together in one spot. Next card in the pack come from the Can You Believe subset. John Brunswick. Let's see. It looks like he created the first championship award trophy. Donated a silver trophy to the American Professional Football Association 
in 1920. How about that? Final card, final pack in this quick rip and retail is an Eddie LeBaron card. He is a member of the Serving Our Country subset, and he was he's a punter for the quarterback safety and punter for the University of Pacific, and was in the Korean War. Twice injured and decorated with a Purple Heart, awarded the Bronze Star and a letter of commendation. Also a college football Hall of Famer. So these are the cool cards you're going to find and more in OBAC when you bust a hobby box of it at your local shop or from wherever you purchase your cards. Uh, that was Rippin' Retail, a quick video of 2011 OBAC football, the first, very first football set. Chris Olds, Becca Media. See you next time.